हरी हरी ओम ज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वदाक 
ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹ ಗುಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹ ಗಣಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿ ಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ತೌ ಸಂತೋಷ ಯಥಾಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲ ರೂಪ ಸನಾತನೌ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾದ್ಯಂ ಗ್ರಂಥನಾಲೇಖ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚಾತ ಪರ್ಯಾಯಂ ಕೃತ್ವಾ ಲಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಸ್ವರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಟು ಡೇಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ there's not way of sitting in the class there's a very bad sorry krishna what we are discussing yes ruchi pradana bhakti so ruchi pradana bhaktas are far far superior than the vichara pradhanas so vichara pradhana means they are seeing the good and bad so what is the meaning of shraddha shraddha means so seeing the bad and eliminating that from from the thing whatever we hear so from that seeing the bad and eliminating that and accepting only good so one who is expert in this is known as is having the purna shraddha purna shraddha symptom is this so if one see the good and bad and based upon that so he is doing the bhakti then this is lower than the someone who is getting the natural attraction to the so bhakti because bhakti is having the such a shakti which can attract everyone and if someone is is being attracted like that that means is good and being attracted towards that and then because of that natural attraction if he does that bhakti then that is is a guna that is a is a best thing but if one is not able to get that attraction then he is referring the shastras shastras are recommending something is good and something is bad and then after understanding that and then if you get the so his pravrutti that means 
then he approaches ananya bhakti then that is inferior that approach is inferior to the natural attraction <clears throat> so that we have discussed from the 11th canto to 20th chapter 36th namaye kanta bhaktanam guna doshod bhavah gunaha sadhunam samachittanam buddhehe param upayusham okay this is over yesterday we discussed meaning of this shloka also so we'll be discussing today the remaining so next anuchada 178th anuchada iyam akinchanakya bhaktireva jeevanam swabhavatah uchita this akinchanakya bhakti this akinchana bhakti is only the सो इम अखिंचनाख्या भक्तिरव जीवान स्वभाव उचिता सो नौ वाट वी आर् गोयिंग टू से वै देचर इफ यू सी द नेचर ऑफ द जीवात्मा एंड फॉर दैट वाट ईज अप्रोप्रिएट उचिता मीन अप्रोप्रिएट नैचुरली वाट थिंग ईज अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर दीज जीवास akinchanakya bhakti in the other things whatever that is agnana samukhyam is there or other vishishta samukhyam vishishta bhakti we have seen that is the yoga mitra bhakti or something or mukti mitra yoga whatever these are all not natural actually so they are all natural they are not according to the nature of the jivatma no so jeevanam swabhavatah uchita that means is more appropriate akinchanakya bhakti is is more appropriate for the jeeva we established ananya bhakti through the elimination process so how we established that all you know so we considered gnana and after that bhakti to pass and also the so different so this bhakti is also two types so towards the paramatma and towards the bhagwan and once again that paramatma is also two types so vasti paramatma samishti paramatma all and we keep on eliminating all those and eliminated and finally so we established through that elimination process ananya bhakti yes through the elimination process we established ananya bhakti what about now tell me based upon the the intrinsic nature of the jivatma so whatever is finally refined and we got that is really suitable or not that also we should see of course yeah akinchana bhakti is the highest samukhyam that you established fine is it really suitable for the jivatma is it naturally suitable for the jivatma or not that may go that doubt you may get then that's why so that is also is being discussed here 
for jivatma's nature if you see so based upon the bivatma's nature what is the most most appropriate thing for these jivas that is aginjana bhakti only that is a discussion okay then we have to prove this Mm. Everyone should remember how the Ananya Bhakti is established. So, from the beginning, you should see the Samukhyam, these two types Gnanam and direct Samukhyam is Gnanam and Bhakti and Karma Arpanam. Then, after that, so what is the significance? What are the prime qualifications for these three? Then, after that, so when uh, one will we enter into the Gnana? what is a so pre qualification what is the qualification for the gnana what is the qualification for the bhakti what is the qualification of the karma arpana when karma is left karma arpana is left over so then after that select that all the sequence you should remember that will be helpful for you to preach also to understand bhakti ananya bhakti is the highest to get shraddha also it is very much useful now स्वाभाविक तदाश्रया ही जीवा फर्स्ट ऑफ आल वाट वी आर सेइंग नेचुरली ऑल द जीवा आर टेकिंग शेल्टर इन इन द लॉर्ड तदाश्रया ही जीवा सो दैट मींस नेचुरली वी आर ऑल वी आर ऑल व्हाट सो हैविंग द शेल्टर इन सुप्रीम लॉर्ड so whoever is having shelter in the supreme if some sevaka is there servant and he is fully dependent on master automatically this person has to serve him yes or no because he is dependent anyone is dependent on anyone so he will definitely start respecting serving and so on so remaining things will happen that's natural that's natural so by seeing that natural service even that person also will start master also will rule but otherwise master is not initially is dependent on the jiva is it like that no no whoever is dependent he will be he will start serving by and then the master will reciprocating nature and you will also love so that is a phenomena actually <clears throat> that is a phenomena so here who is dependent jivas are dependent and then so that's a jivas naturally has to serve the lord it's not that the lord should come to the jiva and he should serve so all these in this middle world jivas are there so some people may think that why lord is not coming to us and serving us if he is having really love to me he should come and serve then automatically i will change my mind and i will also serve huh eh? some people they say like this or not if your lord is there then he should why it's okay i am ignorant but he is knowing everything na and he should come and serve me then i will sir by seeing that i will also change You should change us. Huh? Is it like that? <laughs> no, it cannot be. Then people say that Lord is having so much ego. <laughs> He is having ego, and he never come. <laughs> no, but <laughs> water. <laughs> no, that is not. yeah he is ready to serve you provided you you go and serve him you approaches him he is not rejecting you he is ready to serve you also aham bhakta paradhinah he says that much i am also dependent in my devotees 
yes lord is also dependent on his devotees not so jeevas who are not devotees so here because lord is dependent on devotees because he wants the bhakti which is there in the heart of the devotees he is also even he is in the by the nature by swarupa he is full of bliss so he is a manifestation of bliss but still he is not happy with that bliss but he that's why he is dependent <laughs> so he is dependent on what the condensed form of that bliss he is nothing but the bhakti uh so that is where it is it is in the hearts of the devotees so that's why he is dependent and he is submitting himself to them so if you are also having dependence then you should go lord is having, lord is dependent and that's why he is becoming servant of all of them <laughs> he is getting doubt <laughs> no questions okay श्रुते सो इवन येरेन्ट्स ऑलसो इज कॉज एक्चुअली फॉर द मेटीरियल वे इफ यू सी दे हेव नैचुरल लव बट इफ यू रेसिप्रिकेट इफ यू शो दट लव दे बी ऑलसो शोइंग अदरवाइज दे बी प्रोवैडिंग बेसिक नेटीज ऑफ द लाइफ ईटिंग स्लीपिंग फॉर दट what your needs are lord is also providing he is providing or not everything he is giving the body to you he is giving everything but uh, that love if you expect that then you have to you have to approach child has to approach. otherwise parents will provide all the necessities and you are not loving then he will also not love <laughs> sakaranam so who whatever is the cause in the shweta swarup prashat it is said that so he is the cause of everything saha karanam karanaadi padipaha so he is the karanaadi padipa karana means so karanas senses karanaadi padipa is the karanaadi padipa is controlling who is the control, who is who is controlling the senses devatas karanaadi padipaha means he is a controller of the devatas so and he is a cause of everything and that's why he is cause of everything and jivatma is dependent on him so that's why jivatma has to serve otherwise if jivatma is completely independent from the lord it doesn't have any connection with the lord then there is no need to serve if you show your existence is completely dependent independent then okay we'll accept you don't need to serve so is it possible is not possible can you create anything without taking the from the lord's creation this arithmetic example you want your food okay you should not take the anything from the nature because that is not yours and can you produce food grains without using that you should not use your body also because this body is also not you it is given to you even eyes nose everything and only you means jivatma and what you will produce by your sankalpa just you just in the mind you you in your heart you make that now let's big universe should be created and let us <laughs> how the big universe and all the ingredients should be produced and i will so enjoy is it possible by your sankalpa what you can create nothing your sankalpa also should be supported by the lord otherwise you will forget that sankalpa also <laughs> because matta smriti rapohanam cha i am boosting that sankalpa whatever jeeva atma is desiring sankalpa means only you can say it is a desire so even good or bad whatever you desire so if lord is not supporting his lord is not supplying his shakti you cannot remember also <laughs> you forget <what? laughs> forget that means so that's why everything is every in all the ways we are dependent on the lord so so that's why we are servant we are not the master 
we cannot be master and servant's duty is service he has to serve and that's why and service to whom service to him only service to him is only an is that's why ananya bhakti is very natural to the jivatma ಅಂಶತ್ವೇಪಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗತ್ವ ಸ್ವೀಕಾರ ಅಂಶತ್ವೇಪಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗತ್ವ ಸ್ವೀಕಾರ ತದಾಶ್ರಯತ್ವ ಸೂರ್ಯಮಂಡಲ ಬಹಿರ ಬಹಿರ್ ಬಹಿರಾತ ನೋಡಿದ ಬಹಿರಾತಪ ಪರಮಾಣು ನಾಮ ಇವ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಸರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಶತ್ವೇಪಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗತ್ವ ಸ್ವೀಕಾರ ಸೊ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬಹಿರಂಗತ್ವ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಶ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಶ ಟು ದ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಂಶ it is external external to the swarupa jivatma is not the part and parcel of the swarupa of the lord no jivatma is is part and parcel externally bahirangat so that's why but vishnu swarupa he is part and parcel of the swarupa that means that's why he is a swamsha jivatma is is outside to the swarupa like example if you want to know like sun is there and sun rays are there sun rays are outside to the are external to the swarupa of the sun globe they are outside so like that jivatma sar also external to the swarupa of the lord external bahirangatva sikarat tad aashay that means then so it is that tad aashayatma surya mandala bahiratapa paramanu nam so the the photons surya paramanu means that photons in the light those are photons are there so they are outside to the, the sun or so that means these photons are not there in the sun so, so sun is reducing anything same or not huh so so photons are not there means sun is out no na stop sun light will not come no hmm? light why not will come and <laughs> photon is the source of light because of photon we are able to source of light is sun but if photon is the outside ha uh, outside. outside to the sun that is only we are saying outside and that is uh. that is what making light <laughs> photons photons yeah. that that light outside you are having this whatever this light you have that is due to photons but in the swarupa whatever light is there that is not due to these photons that's the point yeah photons are getting energy from the sun otherwise photons will not be there that's why photons are dependent on the sun similarly jivas are dependent on the lord but photons are not rivers so sun is dependent on the not photons similarly so lord is not dependent on jivas that is the point atayeva <coughs> so padmottar so but jivas are there inside in the that means in the abode of the lord abode of the lord and lord are not different lord swarupa and the lord's abode are not different and some jivas are there also of course they are there but now they are fully liberated so that's why they are one way you can say non different from him only that's why lord also says sadaiva saumedam agre asit that means before this creation i am only one i am only one but in the goloka there are so many jivas are there what about those those are also seen non different from the lord because they are all so with the swarupa shakti in that sense 
no no not sarupa oh, oh yeah of course yeah because we use the principle of achintya abheda 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 we use there in that way it's very difficult to fit the, all the philosophy so that's why we should accept such a philosophy like achintya abheda abheda so such a complex because spiritual world is also very yeah it's, uh, it's not simple actually which are unconceivable incon sorry inconceivable so situations are there in spirituality which are beyond the logic <laughs> okay but we should use logic which is directed by the shastra we should use that logic shastra is giving some axioms you should follow that axioms why you should follow why you should follow the shastra's axioms only not the because our man made axioms all are defeated pratyaksha and anuman are already finished they don't have any existence you have only one way to go <laughs> that is shastra that's why you should act and then your intelligence should function based upon the the injunctions of the shastra shastra yukta yukti so is only the solution but you should use the yukti we have yukti but yukti means logic logic is not independent logic cannot function independently but logic support we take just to understand the shastras to understand the the meanings of the shastra so akarascha pyukarascha makarascha tatah param vedatrayatmakam proktam pranavam brahmanah padam akarenochate vishnu sri ruka sri rukarenochate makarastu tayordasah panchavimshah prakirtitah this is padmotra khanda uh, about the pranava so pranava means om om is described in the padmotra khanda in the padma purana so om is described like this puranas are containing all the knowledge all the material knowledge metallurgy this surgery that poetry science so technology skills so all puranas are containing the so much that agni purana vara purana padma purana brahma purana garuda purana all all rituals everything so whatever vedic knowledge is there everything is there in the purana sals so purana itihasa abhyam vedam samuva brahmayet so all the vedas vedic knowledge is expanded by the purana and itihasas so that's why you can see in the purana everything all the science all the knowledge about the pranava also in puranas said that's the, the analyzed pranava is commented actually commentary on the pranava mantra that's om pranava means om so commentary on the om is given in the padma purana like the commentary on the uh, gayatri mantra is given in which purana huh commentary on the gayatri mantra is given in which purana ha garu purana ha oh. agni purana is the right answer good so it's in given in agni purana ha uh, yeah it's from the agni purana so he took the shlokas from agni purana and commented on that it is from the agni purana so so in this like this here pranav mantras commentary we are seeing akarascha ukarascha makarascha tatah param om means it is composed of a u ma so this om okay okay we will practice <laughs> later <laughs> let us see the vakya then you will understand na no? that's why 
to clear that <laughs> it is given here <laughs> what is worm you will understand now so it is at makarascha tatapanam veda trayatmakam proktam pranamam brahmana padam it is a brahmana padam it is abode of brahman and it is it is composed of or embodiment of three vedas three veda trayatmakam it is embodiment of three vedas and also it is abode of so brahman that means what all the vedas are in om all the vedas this rug yajas sam this trayatmakam is dharmartha kama or karma kanda gyana kanda and upasana kanda which one to ved trayatmakam rug yajas sam rig yajas sam trayatmakam na it is three ved traya vedas three three vedas karma kanda gyana kanda and upasana kanda no no that is parts of the veda ah. rug yajas but then there are four na rig yajas sam atharva atharva is uh, in general considered as uh, you can see in anywhere actually uh, trigun uh, veda trayam so there these three are considered adharva is is uh, automatically considered as uh, as part of all these or otherwise adharva veda and another it's a various opinions are there adharva veda is called abhichara yoga that's especially it is containing so much abhichara yogas so that's why they don't consider much about the atharva veda so killing the people through the black magics and this and that that is the of course it is also having the science so veda trayatmakam they say like this so it is embodiment of these three vedas it is abode or otherwise it is a source for brahman om akarena uchyate vishnu so then what about this it is composed of these three letters a u ma a is referring to by a who is said vishnu is said by the akara so lakshmi is said by the vakara and dasaha tayoh dasaha that means lakshmi and vishnu's servant so who is that that is jiva so that is that is said by jiva is said by makaraha okay pancha pancha vimshah parikirti 23 plus 24 plus 25th is jiva 25th is yeah paramatma total 26 element antyecha bhagava shesha roopo aso makarakya sachetana iti tatha antyecha so at the ending bhagava shesha roopo aso in that same purana in that same vyakya at ending bhagava shesha roopo aso makarakya sachetana iti so here jiva that means ma ma is who ma is referring whom ma is referring to the servant of vishnu and lakshmi and this ma that is nothing but the the servant he is also chetana sachetana that means he is conscious uh, iti tatha avadharana avadharana vachyeva ukaraha kaischid kaischit ishyate श्रीश्च तत्पक्षपाति अकारेण उच्य से भास्वर से प्रभा यदत तस्यनपाइनी सम पीपल से दैट कैचि उच्य से कैचि ईष्य मीन सम पीपल दि से दैट एक्चुअली वाट वी लर्न आ इज रेफरिंग टू विष्णु ओ इज रेफरिंग दि लक्ष्मी मा इज रेफरिंग दि सर्वेंट ऑफ दीज टू ऑफ दोज टू so some people they say that 
this okara is not referring the lakshmi akara itself is referring lakshmi just this okara is there just for the avadharana uh what is the meaning of avadharana what is given there only for understanding avadharana means for understanding purpose it is said that that means okara is referring lakshmi but actually srischa tat pakshapatitvad akarene eva uchyate even lakshmi is also said by the akar only because shakti is not that swarupa shakti sri so she is not different from the shakti man that is vishnu so that's why so some people they say that they don't want to see so lakshmi is different from the lord so because she is not the, nothing but the swarupa shakti of the lord so that's why they say that here okara is just for the understanding sake but lakshmi is also denoted by the so akara only like that some people they say okay next bhaswarasya example they are giving bhaswarasya prabha like you take the sun and sunlight sun and sunlight are non different so if there is no sun there is no light so similarly so lakshmi and the lord so they are non different nitya anapai that means always she is with the uh, lord only like sunlight is always following the sun if there is sun there is a light if there is no sun there is no light and can you see sunlight without the sun anywhere no so that like that so that's why sri lakshmi is also represented by the akara only and here who is just for the sake of understanding is there so like that they say atayeva sri vaishnavanam pranavayeva mahavakyam iti sthitam so that is the meaning this is the commentary on the om that means akara is referring vishnu okara is referring to the sri and makara is referring to the their servant and this much om is only the mahavakyam for them so what is the mahavakyam for the advaitins tatvamasi tatvamasi is mahavakyam that means that is a fundamental statement based upon that only their whole philosophy works tatvamasi that is you guru is saying to the disciple my dear student that tat tvamasi that you <laughs> <laughs> that you so you are not different from that then from this this is the ice breaking actually that means your all the ignorance gone now you have to put full faith on this and everything is building on this only that's why it is a mahavakyam main statement and for the sri vaishnava what is the main statement om om means a means vishnu so who means lakshmi and ma means servant so dasa so here is servant so that's why in vishishta advaitam so what is the primary principle serving the lakshmi and vishnu this is the whole philosophy is built on this everything is interpreted based upon this only any is any any meaning of the so any sentences further sentences of the vedas upanishads are dealt based upon this <laughs> Gaudi Vaishnava, so what is the Mahavakya? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sri Krishna Sankirtanam Param Vijay. <laughs> this is Hare Nama, Hare Nama, you okay, know, Kaluna, Sivana, Gati Ranyata. This is <laughs> Krishna to Bhagavan Swayam. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna's the Bhagavan Swayam. This is our philosophy, actually. Mahavaki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it, it can be... Uh, we don't see that Mahavakyam nowhere in Sandarbhas also. So, Jyogos mentioned. Or even in the Sarvasaman didn't mention. Just I am saying... <laughs> 
Goswami used to worship Krishna. Yeah. Somebody carried just Krishna like yeah. that. So it was uh, somebody saying they are not worshiping Radha Rani. Yeah. Radha. For they actually they were worshiping Radha and Krishna because they are seeing Krishna Radha together. Yeah. Confirm this is statement also here from this like, Om, this like Akare, who is it there? Okay, next. Yes. Yeah. Bhagavad Shesha Rupam, uh, it refers to the form of the Lord of Shesha. Where is Shesha? Till now we didn't go to Shesha. Shesha. No, Antecha was there, na? that, that uh, Bhagavad. Acha, okay, okay. The letter Ma is said to be the all knowing Lord Shesha. Acha, Bhagavad Shesha Rupa, so Makarakya Sachetan. Yes, Shesha means Samsha. Bhagavad Shesha Rupa means. Is. Azamsha. It can refer to Lord Shesha because this is what how translated in Koshikurupa's book. Shesha. Acha. There. Can we, but why how it is relevant? Makara is referring to the Adishesh. No. Jivana actually. Then no, but here it is given like that, so that's why I want to clarify. Bhagavad Shesha Rupa mm -hmm. in the word to word translation, oh, the form of the Lord Shesha. And in the translation, the letter Ma is said to be the all knowing Lord Shesha. Where is this is in this Kushapra prose book translation. Uh, okay, I'll see here. Mm. Yes. Yeah, here it says that the jiva who is referred to by the syllable M is the irreducible remainder, Shesha. Sheshrup. Shesha means, so uh, remainder, it's Amsha. Better taking that is good. Because Adishesh is not having any role here shesha means that's a shesha you are taking that that's not having any role here na? so because then how then jivatma how you can refer then so here makarakya sachetana we are we want to say since he is the part and parcel of the lord so he is also so spiritual conscious that's the point actually uh bhagava shesha rupa so makarakya sachetana that's a point though Next, uh, what next is said? Atayeva Sri Vaishnava Nam Pranavayeva Maha Vakyam Itisthitam Tatha Ashtakshara Vakyane Ashtakshara Mantra. What is that Ashtakshara Mantra? Om Namo Narayana. Om Namo Narayana. Right. Om Namo Narayana. So, for this mantra also there is a commentary in that commentary also you'll be understanding why we are seeing this pranava and these things because jivatma is part and parcel of the lord and its main its uh, natural constitutional position is serving tayoho dasaha that means he's a servant of both so this is the thing that means service means bhakti bhakti means bhaj sevayam bhakti ard bhakti, meaning of bhakti is seva so that means servant Whatever the done, thing is done by the servant is known as seva. So that's why it is natural. So that's why serving the Lord and not doing any other thing is the, uh, that is nothing but ananya bhakti. Uh, ananya bhakti is the, is a natural and constitutional position. So that's why we are more refined. Others, they say karma arpanam is also a bhakti, but it's not. Here we are clearly establishing. 
सो तथा अष्टाक्षर व्याख्या श्रीमते विष्णवे तस्म दास्यम सर्व कौम्यहम सो सी श्रीमते विष्णवे तस्म दास्यम सर्व कौम्यहम देश कालाद्यवस्थु सर्वासु कमलापते सिद्ध मुख्यम दास्यम एवं विधि मंत्रा तदृत्ति सम्य आचरे दासभूत जगत्स्थावर जंगम श्रीमारायण स्वामी जगता प्रभुरीश्वर श्रीमारायण स्वामी जगता प्रभु नारायण इज दज मास्टर ऑफ Entire universe. He is a Ishwara. So, what is said here? Sri Mate Vishnuve Tasmay Dasyam Sarvam Karom Yaham. I will do all service to Vishnu. Sri Mate Vishnuve Tasmay Dasyam Sarvam Karom Yaham. That is the first line. Desha Kala Adyavastha Su Sarvasu in all the places, in all the time, in all the stages. Twenty-four hours. <laughs> this is Anani Bhakti. No other business. Only <laughs> this. Desh Kala Devastas. Sarvasu. Important word is Sarvasu. Even you, you may be in the in the body of animal. You may be in the body of the so whatever that means in the demigods, devatas. You may be in the India. You may be in America. You may be in the So Pakistan, you may be in the, you may be in the Sarga, you may be in the Naraka. Any all. No, ah, uh, uh, Om Namo Narayana meaning we are studying. This is explained. This, this is. But Prabhu, Om Namo Narayana, it comes uh, more than uh, it, na? Yes, yes. Ashtadasa. Ashtadasa means ashta. Eighteen? How eighteen comes? Yeah, no, no, not eighteen. Eight only, na? Om. But here he is written Ashtadasa. Ashtadasa means Akshadasa. Where is Ashtadasa? Is it? Yes. Eighteen. Huh? Ashtadasa means eighteen. But we have only Ashta, na? Ashta Akshara. Yeah. Ashtadasa ka hai. Where is Dasha? No, no. At Ashta Akshara, that is. That Ashtadasa, Ashtadasa is there. Mula. Huh? Ashtadasa. Huh? Eighteen. Ashta Akshara is there, na? Ashtadasa ka hai. Uh, spelling it i spell tatha tatha ast a s t a d a d a aksha d a a s h a k a akshara ha ashta d is kai he can't be ashta akshara is there ashta dasha is there ha ashta dasha is there whose mula that is संस्कृत मूला नो ग्रंथ मंदिर अष्टाक्षर 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 राइट बिकॉज नारायण स्वामी जगता प्रभु और वो मीज एक ओम नमो नारायण आय नारायणाय नमो टू सेवन प्लस ओम एट हो गया एट यू मेक एट अष्टाक्षर इज राइट ओके ओके देश कालाध्यवस्था सुर्वासु कमलापते मीन आई विल वाट सो मीनिंग इज वाट ओम नमो नारायण ओम नमो नारायण वाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस मंत्र सो दट मीन इन ऑल द सर्कमस्टेस इन ऑल द प्लेस इन ऑल द सिचुएश इन ऑल द टाइम देश काल अवस्था सुर्वासु इन ऑल टाइम्स इन ऑल द सर्कमस्टेस एंड इन ऑल द प्लेस कमलापते कमलापति हु इज कमलापति विष्णु सो कमलापते दास्यम 
सो करोमी स्वरूप स्वरूप संसिद्ध अष्टाक्षर युटेक् स्वरूप संसिद्ध मुख्यम दास्यम अवाप्नुयाम सो अंड आलो इध स्वरूप सिद्ध मुख्यम दास्यम अवाप्नुयाम इन दिस वे दट मीन वाट हियर जीवात्मा इज से ई विल वर्शिप विष्णु इन आल द प्लेस आल द सर्कमस्टे I will worship means I will service. I will do service. That's him. That means I will do service, servitorship. So I will do service to Vishnu in all the places, all the times, and in all the circumstances. So in this way, Sarupa Samsidham Mukhyam Dasim Avapnuvam. In this way, I will attain. So when you chant the Om Namo Narayana, means what is the meaning? Like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इट इज आलो हैविंग मीनिंग आर नॉट सिमिलरली ओम नमो नारायण इज आलो हैविंग दी मीनिंग एंड यू से ओम नमो नारायण मींस सो विष्णु सो आई एम आई विल आई विल सर्व विष्णु इन ऑल द प्लेसेस ऑल द सेगमेंट्स इन ऑल द टाइम इन दिस वे आई विल गेट इन दिस वे आई विल गेट दी द दास्य भाव सो व्हिच इज माय कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजीशन स्वरूप सिद्धम That is my natural position. Page number this three hundred twenty nine row. So this is the meaning of the mantra. Evam viditva. So of mantra ardham tad vrittim sam samyag acharit. That means whenever you chant this mantra, one should have this bhava, keeping retaining this bhava. Knowing the meaning and retaining that bhava, so so tadurutnya samyag achari mantra arda viditva and samyag achari means he should also behave. He should chant the mantra and he should know the meaning of the mantra and should behave like that. Samyag achari means nicely should behave. That means he should always so try to be servant. Dasa bhutam idam tasya jagas tavara jangamam sriman narayan. So. दास्य भूतम इदम तस्य तस्य स्थावर जंगम एवरीथिंग व्हाट एवर इज इज देयर इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल दैट मींस मूवेबल एंड अनमूवेबल ऑल आर सो देयर लॉर्ड सर्वेंट्स ओनली इट्स नॉट दैट द ओनली फ्यू पीपल आर सर्वेंट एंड ऑल आर सो ओके इन यू पीपल आर हु योर इज कनेक्टिंग टू दिस संबर दीस पीपल आर सर्वेंट्स एंड वी आर ऑल so different we are different from the vishnu and all this no everyone is servant everyone is servant this whole creation is is are the is the servants of the law sriman narayana swami jagatam prabhurishwara sriman narayana swami jagatam prabhurishwara this sriman narayana this narayana is the master of entire creation ओके दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ओम नमो नारायणाया सो फ्रॉम द मीनिंग ऑफ द ओम नमो नारायण आल्सो वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट एवरी जीवात्मा इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली सर्वेंट ऑफ द लॉर्ड फ्रॉम द कमेंट्री ऑन द ओम प्रणव ओमकार आल्सो वी अंडरस्टूड जीवात्मा इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल एंड इट इज एटर्नली सर्वेंट ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो दस ए अनन्य भक्ति भक्ति मींस सर्विस so ananya bhakti means exclusively to the lord so he is natural constitutional position of the uh, jiva it is understood from these two commentaries tadeta dahu hu so it is also said by vedas vedas are also saying same thing so vedastuti if you see vedastuti in the 87th chapter of the 10th canto so vedas are also glorifying like this lord स्वकृत परे स्वीश्वरंतर संवरण तव पुष वदिल शक्ति विवच कवयो निगमापनम उपासते इंग्रिभ इंग्रिम भव 
bhuvi visvasita we'll see the meaning of this this vedastuti statement so from this also we'll understand either really yes jiva is servant or not or something translation by bbt the individual living entity while inhibiting the material bodies he has created for himself by his karma actually remains uncovered by either gross or subtle matter this is so because as the vedas describe he is part and parcel of you the possessor of all potencies having determined this to be the status of the living entity loan sages become imbued with faith and worship your lotus feet to which all vedic sacrifices in this world are offered and which are the source of liberation what is the main essential point in this jivatma is is what is a part and parcel of the lord that is the main point that we are going to see and whoever is knowing this thing they are simply worshiping the lotus feet of the lord after being a uh, service enlightened by this knowledge so the intelligent people the learned sages what they do with faith they worship the lotus feet of the lord this is the point main point it's not that the jivatma is also equal to the lord people they say gnanis aham brahmasmi but that is not really the appropriate the position of the jivatma that's not not really appropriate position that's a swabhavatah uchita na so it's not naturally appropriate no it's not naturally appropriate and also becoming the getting the form of vishnu getting the form of vishnu salokya samipya sarishti saijja and what is that salokya samipya sarupya sarishti saijja all these are also not natural jivatma also getting the form of vishnu and sitting beside to him <laughs> it's not natural actually it's not so appropriate for the jiva and any lot sanctions that in that scenario people see the jivatma is having equivalent power huh? like vishnu no yeah sarishti everything is equal. sarishti means he will be giving the so same opulence and once he... it is given <laughs> it can be snatched also <laughs> <laughs> once it is given means he is equivalent to vishnu now he ah. can do whatever vishnu can do but he cannot think like that because he is liberated if he has such a mentality then he will not go there <laughs> such a jeevas are not allowed <laughs> there there is stopped here <laughs> he cannot misuse no yeah. hari krishna what yes. is uh, when devotees go back to golok vrindavan dham is that not considered liberation yeah that is highest liberation i was thinking that is also samipya it's not counted as samipya no oh. liberation means the perfect meaning of liberation is is getting the service yeah 
that is the highest yeah liberation anyway, anyway that means we can say bhakti is the so apavarga what is the real meaning of apavarga kaivalyam or apavarga bhakti so in that way but what you are asking mother so samipyam samipyam is there but if you don't have service then that's only samipyam but in the golo gurundavan samipyam is there definitely but there is a full of love but in the vaikuntha samipyam is there but there is no service there is no service in vaikuntha uh, for those then there is no service but in the vaikuntha samjiva who are in the dasya bhava they go they will be having service Oh, so these five types of liberation means there is no service for them. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I didn't know that. Four types of liberations condemned by the devotee because there is no service. Four. But going five. to the salokya, that means we are also going to the same loka, but we are not going to the same loka just to sake of the going there and not to having the service. But we are going there to serve actually. But yeah. some people they are going there to be there. What will they do there? <laughs> they will sit. <laughs> Why they have to do? Because they want to get out from metal world. That's all they want. <laughs> they are. Like... They can just be in Brahman. Why they'll go to Vaikuntha? Vaikuntha also because they are attached to the Vishnu. And that's why they are. attached means so they are seeing Vishnu and they are inspiring like that. I, I will also become like him. That is like Shantaras, then like you you no no rasa is different then. Rasa is different. Shantarasa is different. Shantarasa is different, and this mokshas are different. The Shantarasas are, are considered under the rasa, that is. Mm. Not serving, but uh, it is also having the, some rasa actually. That much, uh, I'm not having in the brain now, <laughs> but yeah. They are also serving, they are different. Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sdurlaba. Everything is Vasudeva. So, such a people, they get the Santaras actually. Everything is Vasudeva. That's all. That is the Santaras. Huh? So it is it is dealt in the Priti Sandarbha very clearly, the Santarasa, how it is manifested. So but here in the moksha actually, so yes, why we are going? So without any that means service, getting this uh, position like a uh, form like Vishnu. So so that he is free from the uh, any kind of the material miseries. Yogis they meditate and so they will be remembering this form while leaving the body. So they will be getting that form and staying there in the Vaikuntha. What? Doesn't make sense. <laughs> he has a form and he has nothing to do there. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> and but some some ghost Dasa Bhaktas also there in the Vaikuntha, you Sri Vaishnavas, they want Kainkaryam, they want service. So they go and they serve. It's not that they, they don't serve, they go and serve. Prominence of Shuka and Aishwarya, that's why it is called as Shuka Aishwarya and Premuttara. Aishwarya, like, just, yeah. Shuka Aishwarya. They, they are also they getting Aishwarya have, like Vishnu. Yeah. Of the yes. opulence of the Lord. Yes. That is uh, also rejected in Ananya Bhakti, which yes. is Rupa Swami is doing. Because here in Ananya Bhakti, for us it is Premuttara. So Ananya Bhakti is also, once again, two types. Hmm. This. Uh, Vaidhi Bhakti and Ragatmika Bhakti. Raga. Raga Bhakti. And that's a spontaneous. And another is, is just like in the Dwarika, they are also having the service, but they are all abided by the rules and regulations. So rules and regulations are first and service is next. I am this, I am wife of the Lord. So, but I am wife. I have conditions. Condition that means to meet, to reciprocate, to behave. There are so many. So conditions are applied. But if you go to the Goloka, just jump on Krishna and, <laughs> and put your hand on him. Hey, chalo. 
spontaneous actually like that's why material world in that material world also earth planet in the earth planet also in the so jambu dweepa in that jambu dweepa bharata varsha in that bharata varsha especially in the bharata kanda so it's the most actually replicable that means you can see the exact reflection of the that's a golok rundavan especially in india <laughs> here very less rules we follow <laughs> everything is spontaneous here <laughs> at least some western world they have some rules and regulation they follow strictly many things but here everything is what it is no rules no regulation <laughs> yeah so this is because that's why it is easy for you to understand the the past tense of the krishna in the golok rundava because you are in that kind of setup actually if you go to bilaswar guy you cannot understand <laughs> if you take birth there then it's a difficult if you come to the indian villages in india also that's how the mother is churning the milk uh, butter milk and getting these and all this how the village life how the boys are grazing the cows all these things is you can see in the even the city also no you cannot understand actually when you take birth in village pure village then you will understand it this fast tense very nicely which really happens in with krishna in the golokrunda understand so in the bhagavata now you are studying so churning rod you didn't see in life churning rod <laughs> how it is churn <laughs> and you don't know ulukal that means the the motor you didn't see any time so how that leela you can understand it <laughs> just to meditate because you are not in the bhava but at least smaranam you can do na smaranam can be done by the mind so then you you read that leela you should understand that you can you should understand that so for that yeah we need the vrindavan villages where there is a demonstration of the past tense of the krishna are there so at least many times people they so try to figure out how like boys evening time sanja and they are coming from the forest with the cows so you have experience of taking the cows to the fields in, in it will be easily you will be absorbing in that because you are also having the in the material life that experience will help you to understand that but in the whole life you are always seeing the four walls and only lights from the day one then you don't know actually that that's very difficult to, if i if you explain the lifestyle of america i don't know actually i cannot imagine it's a very diff- different from that the the culture and that things those things are very ah oh, acha i like that it happens it's very different different difficult but if you go to the villages for them village life also is like that so that is the vrindavan actually vrindavan everything is spontaneous no rules and regulations if they want to meet krishna they will go to immediately house of krishna and hey chalo chalo we will play all the boys they will call him and all they go and they play whole day and they don't visible to their mother <laughs> keep on playing somewhere and eating something on the just which are coming from the trees and they don't take food also these things we used to do na from the childhood we were also escaping from home <laughs> night 6 o'clock 7 o'clock we come back when everything is night so like that that is the lifestyle actually that but in the other places why the that means there are the rules and regulations so but one time we should initially we should follow the vaidhi sadhana bhakti when we beginning but at one stage after nishtha so one has to so jump to the raghavanaga bhakti that means following the ragatmika bhaktas is known as raghavanaga bhakti so one has to that means mentally his mind should be in the vrindavan physically if he is there best actually physically you are in the vrindavan and visiting the different places where the lord performed his leelas and trying to serve like that if it is not possible like that then one should 
mentally be in vrindavan to do that bhakti so mentally you will be doing that bhakti but you have to preach also that is going on so it's not that you should leave the everything that is on that's inner consciousness ananya bhakti is always goes inside that's a conscious of course externally you might be doing this some karma also that means you might be working and offering that results that is not going to disturb you when you so become pra practicing so this ananya bhakti internally yeah so in the process of vaidhi sadhana bhakti vaidhi sadhana bhakti after some time you said that we have to shift to raganuga bhakti huh. but this process will like automatically happen that after after doing so long no you should sadhana. follow after the ruchi stage you should follow you should try to follow the so rajivasis of the unnurandavan rajivasis you should follow means how the, how it's not that the you you have to leave the uh, preaching activity and you now start <laughs> dressing like rajivasis and <laughs> that did some people they did already 200 years back <laughs> that is not recommended <laughs> so that that is done consciously actually internal consciousness actually he might be doing the vaidhi sadhana bhakti also attending mangala arati and all this but consciousness is like that Mm. So, because otherwise it will be abnormalities abnormalities in the society already so many other things came and also imitation they don't do actually we should follow not the imitate see people imitated actually that just and also not understanding the properly that kind of taste is not there and that came to the on the level of sense gratification then then that brought up these un so un unwanted results in the society and then that's why vaishnavism got the bad reputation in the society very bad reputation and it really that's all apasampradaya people started that means whole society started hating these people so that means you should become vaishnava to scold people they were using the word vaishnava because so this is the lowest person in the society such a way so that happened actually bhakti vinod thakur brought the revolution once again okay so what vedas they are saying svena tvaya kruteshu pureshu deheshu vartamanam tava purusham janam tava eva amsha rupena tadiya swarupena krutam nitya siddham vadanti so what they are saying vedas that they are saying tvaya kruteshu pureshu deheshu jeevam that means this jeevatma is living in the city which is made by you what is that city which is having the nine holes nine gates body yeah in that purusham who is that purusha jeeva so tava purusha that means your purusha that means is belonging to you your your man janam tava eva amsha rupena that means this purusha is is your part and parcel so nitya siddham that means tvadiya swarupena krutam nitya siddham vadanti it is done by your swarupa and it is nitya siddham means this jeevatma is not temporary is not temporary it nitya siddham means neither created nor destroyed that is the meaning of nitya siddham so nitya siddha bhakta means so bhakti is not created nor that means he was not previously devotee and now he is devotee is not like that from beginning he is devotee and till the end he will be unlimited till end means end will also will not be there so unendingly he will be devotee is known as nitya siddha bhakta here what nitya siddha bhakta is not said nitya siddham that means he is accomplished that means he is existing siddham means existing eternally he is existing eternally and tatra akila shakti drutah tava ityuktva what is said in this context vedas what they are saying 
that purusha is belonging to you so what kind of you akila shakti drutaha who is possessing the all the shaktis a living entity yeah living entity because one who knows the the fact that means living entity is the part and parcel of the lord so such a person will bow down at the lotus feet of the lord and he worship the lotus feet of the lord that is the context actually so like this vedas are saying the intelligent people whoever is knowing this fact that means living entity is the part and parcel of the lord they worship your lotus feet that is a summary statement what is total summary of so stuti this stuti तत्र अखिल शक्ति द्रुत तव इतवा तद अखिल शक्ति गणात पाति जीव तटस्थ शक्ति विशिष्ट से तव अंश न तो स्वूप शक्ति विशिष्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जीवात्मा इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ दि कृष्ण आदि जीवात्मा इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ दि परमात्मा Jivatma is a part and parcel of the of the of the Krishna who is possessing the Tadastha Shakti. Tadastha Shakti Yukta. What is it? You should say Tadastha Shakti Yukta Tava. Here, one subtle difference is there. Something smell is coming. I don't know every day this time evening time. Huh? Flowers. Krishna, he is. He is in the abode. He is abode. and his form is out of his his form is manifested out of his swarup shakti is purely swarup shakti so jivatma is not the part and parcel of this form then if you say it is a form of this his part and parcel of this form then jivatma is also swarup shakti that will be coming so that's why Jivatma is not part and parcel of the pure. Uh, what is that? Sarupa, not to, not to, not to sarupa sekti visistasya. You can take like this. Chinmatra satta. That means visheshya plus. स्वरूप शक्ति इज इक्वल टू कृष्ण और विष्णु और नारायण हुए और इन द अबोर्ड इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड स्वरूप शक्ति विशिष्ट चिन्मात्र सत्ता इज इक्वल टू कृष्ण बट अकेले शक्ति दृता मीन्स स्वरूप शक्ति विल बी देर Plus, Tatastha Shakti will be also there. Tatastha, Tatastha Shakti, Tatastha Shakti, plus Bhairanga Shakti. So that means Akila Shakti, Tatastha Bhairanga Shakti, Tatastha Shakti, Swarup Shakti, Yukta. सिनेमा से सत्ता इज इक्वल टू परमात्मा 
Paramatma is a controller of who is handling Bairanga Shakti and the Tarsa Shakti? Krishna is handling directly? No. Only the Paramatma, the three Purushas. Karnarno Sai Vishnu, Garbhodaka Sai Vishnu, Shirodaka Sai Vishnu. These three. They, these three only handle this Bhairanga Shakti and Tarsa Shakti. Of course, Paramatma's form is also out of Sarupa Shakti only. But is also Drutaha means is handling. Drutaha means here handling. This Bhairanga Shakti and Tarsa Shakti. Krishna's duty, no, Krishna is not having any duty of this. He will not handle these things. That's why Brahmaji is glorifying him as you are the creator, you are the this, you are maintainer. Are kya suna rahe aap? So Brahmaji was thinking like this. When at that time Krishna in the Brahma Mohan Lila, so Krishna was standing actually. And Brahmaji was saying, wait, 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 one minute I will glorify. So okay, glorify what you want to glorify. Then so Brahmaji was started glorifying him. You are the maintainer, you are the creator, you are the this, you are that. And this uh, uh, Jnana Marga is uh, very difficult and uh, your Bhakti Marga is so great. All he is uh, glorifying like this. <laughs> Krishna was not at all giving any attention to him actually. <laughs> because Krishna is, Are, I want to play with my friends. Why you are irritating me? <laughs> actually, in that he is always interested in what? He's playing with his friends, Gopas and the Gopis. And, and Brahma is not having that kind of love. <laughs> he is, he is, he is not, he is seeing it as Aishwarya actually, Aishwarya of the Bhagavan. And Krishna is feeling so bored actually by his uh, prayers. <laughs> he is never, never feeling any kind of interest actually in that. <laughs> so, so that's why. If you glorify Krishna, you are the maintainer, you are creator, you are this, that. He will feel so bored, actually. What is this? What you are doing to with me? That is my Paramatma will do. <laughs> of course, Paramatma is not different from the Swarupa of the Krishna, but so that is also different. So is different. Huh? <laughs> we are describing based on function. Ah, you kill the de de demons and you protect the devotees and you will do this. You will your bhakti is so great. What is this? <laughs> you know, the Vairanga Shakti and uh. Tatasa Shakti and the, this. Uh. Uh, the, this, if it is not then how do we understand Mama Ivamsha, Jiva Loke, Jiva Bhuta, Sanatana? Krishna is saying, now, Mama Ivamsha is, is referring to himself. How do we say yeah. that? Because they are also, Paramatma is also non different from him, but he is also different. So sitting in the Goloka, he will never think the this uh, material affairs. Oh, now this uh, all these uh, elements should maintain. That means sthitir uh, vaikunta vijaya. That means all the materials, all the air should have their its own property. It should not get the property of fire. If air getting the property of fire, then what will happen? <laughs> he will inhale, then everything will burning. <laughs> Who is maintaining that? That means the property of that means carrying the oxygen and. And even giving you that means sufficient oxygen to the body. Air is, air is doing. Air is the Seta Sparishwani is the, is the Vayu. So, that, who is maintaining that quality? Water. If you drink water, your quench will be finished. And if you drink petrol, <laughs> it will be burned. So, similarly, the property of water is maintained in it. And property of petrol is not coming into the water. And water property is not going to there. Who is maintaining? Is maintained by the so, Kshirodak Sai Vishnu. So Vishnu is sitting and he is doing this. So these can these kind of activities Krishna will not do in Vaikunta. In the Goloka sitting and he will not think, oh, who will maintain this? No. I already he gave the job and he is always enjoying with the friend. Based on this, na, whenever Krishna says yeah. just like a mama and so context we should context, understand. So context, context we should understand. Yes. Just like mm. Krishna also says, Aham Biz Pradapita, Sarvayanushi Konteya. Yeah. So it is also heard the Krishna is not directly coming in picture. Yeah. That is the hyper through Lord Shiva. Yeah. Shiva and Prakriti is that. So that and also, should... yeah, Krishna also says that that is in that eighth chapter. So that's Puranam Purusham. He's saying Purana Purusha. Who is that Purana Purusha? He's telling about that Paramatma. 
దట్స్ గరబోధక సాయి విష్ణు అండ్ ఆల్సో దక్షిరోధక సాయి విష్ణు అది పురుషం అది యజ్ఞం అభయ నగర్ కృష్ణ సేస్ మై అన్సర్ దట్స్ ఇస్ నాట్ సో దిస్ ఆల్సో నాట్ రాంగ్ బికాస్ this krishna included parmatma at that time he is including himself yeah. into uh, whole account yeah. and sometimes he separates and is speaking bhagavad gita also sometimes he shows that means one should uh, yogis they worship on the purusha so purusham so who is that purusha that is parmatma he is at that time showing difference between himself and that so in that sense we should not take meaning just like propas says na mayavadi says when krishna says uh, give a, a sar, sarv sarv dharman pradajma me comes and ma means me not something inside where you should take the exact meaning where you should take the parmatma that is guided by acharya <laughs> even acharya acharya also differs <laughs> so maya sakta manah there here mai mai means in me that vishnu is saying vishnu chakra thakur so krishna that is krishna only you should take and some acharya other acharya they explain in another way it's like purusha whatever that's Ramanuja Chari, if you go, then he will explain his Vishnu. <laughs> Narayana, who is in the Vaikuntha. Okay. So, we will be discussing remaining things tomorrow. Thank you very much for Shilpa. For everyone, Shilpa Prabhupada. Ki Jai.